But coming up first, we head out to Irish Town to meet Crusaders Athletics Club. Well, Crusaders Athletic Club, as you can see, is based in Irish Town Stadium. We were established in 1942 uh, in Dublin. We are the second largest club in Dublin, if you add in the children. We have over 300 adults in the club and we have around 250 adults in the club. And we've grown five-fold in the last five years, which is a phenomenal uh, achievement. We have many athletes in the club. Uh, our top athletes uh, would have gone to European Championships and uh, the Olympics in Beijing was the last Olympian we've had. Uh, our current best athletes would be Steve Colbert, who's a 200 metre specialist. We also have Brian Murphy, who I know was interviewed for this programme, and he's the 400 metre champion, or he was up to a year ago, and he is part of the 4x4 four four, uh, Irish record breaking team. And uh, we have other up and coming athletes, Orla Drum is the national 1500 meter champion and she's also in the club. But we have many athletes uh, from beginner uh, right up the way to those internationals. I started when I was about eight years old. Um, I grew up in a household that had a bit of kind of athletics. I wouldn't say so much tradition but kind of enthusiasm. Um, my entire household were athletics fans. Um, my dad competed. Um, my uncle was a, a 400 runner. Um, and he was also called Brian, so I ended up following his footsteps, I suppose, more than anyone else's. Um, so I, I joined the local club, um, went all the way through, uh, all the way into college, and uh, when I left college um, and left UCC AC, I joined Crusaders when I moved up to Dublin. The area is a very old area, it's a uh, Rings End Irish town area, and um, it has a great tradition of particularly being in the port and in fact that tradition lives on. They have a local rowing club which uh, a no, number of their members are in this club as well to get fit. Um, but it's also a new area, it's quite near the Docklands uh, area and there are quite a lot of firms. Google is only down the road, eBay is near uh, and all the law firms are around. So many, many of our members are not just from the local community, they're from the working community and many of the people that work in the community actually have apartments nearby. When I moved to Dublin um, I was basically looking for like a club to join and I had a few connections to Crusaders. Um, my coach John Coughlin was a Crusaders fan and I had a couple of friends in the club um, and I happened to meet Mike and Sue when I was over in uh, Portugal one by the training and to be honest everyone I met in the club was a really nice person and it was just an easy going like, club with you know nice people but also a good high performance background. I mean, you have Peter Coughlin, and then obviously going back in time, you have like Ron Delaney, but you like, you know, like Tom Chan, who was also a member of the club at the time as well. So there's some good athletes, but also like a really nice ethos. I joined the club four or five years ago as a result of my children joining the club and loving it so much. I was down watching them train, so I decided I might as well join in. I came along and I joined in with John's group. And I've been here ever since. Don't very think welcome. it's going to get rid of me now. No, it's still very welcome, man. Yeah, I would say Crusaders like really does support its elite athletes. There's a real, um, how would you put it, kind of a, sort of a, a respect towards like people who want to become elite. I think it respects everyone. Tonight, for instance, there's another four or five newcomers, and we're getting that kind of level every single week. And uh, I think it's great because Sharon and people like Sharon really bring them into the group and really integrate uh, these uh, newcomers uh, really successfully. I think. And I tell you what, though, moving on a little bit, um, of course, we also want them to get excited about maybe racing for us as well. So I think Sharon can tell us a little bit about the, uh, the up and coming meeting trains that we've been up to, um, which is the ladies' event. There are elite athletes, I suppose, there's only a select few kind of at this stage. Um, we do have uh, several elites, but everyone's scattered all around the place. Um, and in terms of support, I mean, like it's, it ranges from like kind of helping out, like when you go to training, all the way up to like um, like to financial support to help people with uh, their warm weather training. Trips. Um, with uh, regard to like going training, uh, there's several nights I've been out here, and Jimmy would make sure that when I want to run my rep, that there was a lane free. But like by and large, everyone in Crusaders is very respectful of one another. You wouldn't have to kind of like hustle for a, a lane at all to kind of look after each other. Well Irish Town Stadium is owned by Dublin City Council but in fact Crusaders had a lot to do with the project initially. We put in 600,000 euros into the stadium ourselves and with Dublin City Council we built this stadium 
and it's a fantastic facility for this area. We have a lot of children coming in and it's, it's, it's a fantastic tribute, just, not just to Dublin City Council, but to Crusaders that we had the foresight to build this stadium. And as you can see, it's a beautiful stadium, great facilities, football pitches, outdoor pitches, and every Tuesday and Thursday nights, these uh, car parks are absolutely jam-packed with people and all using a fantastic facility. The European Championships last year were a bit of a mixed emotions. Um, I was there, I ran a 4x4 relay, um, and I would have also liked to run a 400 meter individual. Um, the positives I would take from it would be, it's always good to get championship experience. Um, it's always good to compete you know, in uncomfortable circumstances, and I remember that night, it was pouring rain, uh, it was thunderstorm clouds overhead, uh, we got in lane one on the tightest track which you could possibly ask for uh, and with a team that had never run together. So there was an awful lot against us and we, we got through it. I suppose like, as a performance wise uh, I wouldn't say anything positive about the time because our own Crusaders team went down and ran faster like two weeks later. But um, you always get something from a championship. You know, whether they're positive, happy memories of doing well or if there are scars that help you kind of get through your winter and make you want to train harder and never be in that situation again. We just fit, recently finished the winter meet and train league and Crusaders came second with the silver medal and we are taking part in the summer meet and train league now so it's three races over the summer and two miles, three miles around that distance and it's a great way to get to know the other girls in the club and to meet the girls it's a women's meeting, so it's all women. And to meet the girls from the other clubs as well, make plenty of friends. Uh, Crusaders Athletic Club have a website, it's www.crusadersac.org and we have all information about training. We do only online subscriptions, so it's very, very easy to uh, join the club. But we'd encourage people, if they were interested, to come down and try us out. And a big thank you to everyone at Crusaders Athletics Club out in Irish Town for having us along. It's fantastic to see so many people over there are so active and involved. And Brefni, I believe you've got a bit of history with Crusaders. A little bit. That sounds a bit dodgy. But no, um, I, I did train with them for a brief period when I was preparing to do the marathon. So, uh, yep, no, really good club. Really, really good in terms of getting people out and keeping people out, which is fantastic. And I suppose that leads us on quite nicely to the next thing we're going to look at. Mm -hmm.